When it comes to sport, running is one of the simplest to outfit, as long as you know what to look for. I just got them because they're super light. Like I, I overpronate, so I roll in. Um, so I was wearing like padded shoes, but they're heavy, so. And the store that I went to, they took a look at how I walk and how I run and looked at my gait. And then they uh, showed me the type of shoe that would be the best for my feet. I have a particular choice of shoes. Some shoes won't work for me, and they're good brand names, but you know, some shoes don't work for me, others do, and so you kind of stick what works for you. The experts agree brand loyalty won't get you far. A lot of people ask me which brand is the best or what's the best shoe out there, and, and I always say it's the best fitting shoe because we need to, that's why we have so much selection is because every shoe is a different shape. And if you're looking for the same name that works for a friend, you're off to a rough start. You can see it's the same brand, but when you look at the bottom, very different shapes. And you can see that the, this shoe here is very narrow through the arch, but also very curved here. This particular shoe is, is wider through the arch, but then straighter. That's just one of the things to look for in a traditional shoe. Take away that 12 millimeter heel ramp and things get a little shaken up in the running shoe world with the injection of minimalist footwear. So you're standing on a bit of a slope with a running shoe. With a minimalist shoe, you're flatter. So it's, it's a less degree of a, of a slope. That doesn't necessarily mean less cushion, just what they call a zero drop between the heel and toe and a whole lot less support. And while Eric says about 75% of his sales are still in the traditional section of his store, the minimalist wall is getting more attention. What's worked for me so far is these, these new balance. So. This long distance runner went for the minimalist shoe a few years ago. He says the switch was about comfort, but Eric says it can also create a more efficient runner. Well, heel striking, if you think about it, is actually you're actually putting on the brakes when you hit your, when you hit your heel. So the later on in that circle that you can plant your foot, the better. The shoes do cause you to run differently, and a common mistake for runners is to make too quick of a transition. Yeah, I actually rushed into it a lot too quick the first few times, and, and uh, yeah, I had some issues for a while. There's arguments that minimalist shoes will cause injury. It's not the shoes that cause injury, it's, the, it's always a training error. So if your muscles are not ready for it, you will get injured. If you're thinking about taking that 12 millimeter plunge from a traditional shoe to a more minimalist footwear, you might want to take the plunge in slow motion. And that's because everybody is different depending on how old you are, how long you run, how often you run, and also how long you've been in that traditional footwear. It's going to take time to make the transition. And the most important thing is to listen to your body. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kim Kasher.